Hello, I'm Carlos, one of FIRSA's expert technicians. Today, we will disassemble and assemble a wheel end hub in a housing like the one we have over here. For both operations, we will use our FIRSA bearing toolkit. With this case of specific tools, we will dismantle and assemble both the front axle and rear axle. And now, in the press, and with this tool, we disassemble the bearing from the hub and then we will mount the new bearing on the hub again. To start dismantling, we need the right tools. Pliers to remove the clip. A specific plate for extracting the front axle bearing. To start with the disassembly, first we extract the circlip from the outboard side. We'll turn the hub and in the press, extract the whole bearing from the inboard side. When we place the plate, we must ensure that it is completely centered. Otherwise, we could damage it. After removing the bearing, we will turn the bushing. Now, we can begin with the installation of the new bearing. For the assembly, we will need the bearing's proper installation plate and the hub, the following tools, pliers, screwdriver, hammer. Before starting the installation, you should carefully read the instructions we include in the box and on the stickers. Both include useful tips for you. We must also clean and check the status of the hub. Let's get back to installing the bearing by using the plate. Upon placing the hub, we must keep in mind that the press support should not interfere in the bearing's hole. If it does, it will not be able to press in all the way down. When placing the hub, we must ensure that the outboard side is facing up. Once we have checked this, we'll place the plate on the whole side, specially designed to avoid damaging the seal. To facilitate assembly in the right place, we'll use the push bar. You can find it in any FIRSA bearing toolkit. We must ensure that the hub is centered at all times. Only then, we will apply force with the press. The pressure punch will indicate that the piece has made it to its spot. Once the piece is installed, we'll go back to the table to check it. We must ensure that the bearing is seated properly and that the seal has not been damaged. It's perfect. Then, using the pliers, we will install the clip. We can tap it in order to verify that it is properly placed. The clip should be able to turn in its place without allowing it to come free. We will therefore obtain the perfect replacement. We hope these tips have helped you. For more information, visit our website. The most important thing for us is to make your job easier. Fasa Bearings, yours in the workshop.